comment section below. All right, everybody, welcome to the Glass Less Traveled Livecast. My name is Mike Verivi. I'm a certified bourbon steward and founder of the Fox Valley Whiskey Society. We're going to explore and introduce you to craft distilleries, microbreweries, industry insiders, and professional imbibers to give you the inside scoop on the things you need to be drinking. Tonight, we're talking with the North American brand rep for Glencairn Crystal, Martin Duffy. Marty, how are you doing? Excellent. <laughs> So tell us, Marty, what it's like being the guy, being the guy in the whole of North America <laughs> that is responsible for representing Glen Cairn. It is a world of responsibility on these soft, little, supple shoulders. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's fun. Um, uh, I've always... Uh, 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 it's it's a it's a really great opportunity, and it's something that um, I've enjoyed doing for almost six years now. I guess August will be six years. Um, you know, I what other job pays you to go around uh, the U.S. and Canada, go visit whiskey shows, uh, rub elbows with the the men and women who make whiskey, <laughs> um, and uh, just have a, a uh, all around good time. I mean, it really is. Um, uh, the Davidson family who own Glen Karen are tremendous people to work for. They're just really, really nice. I mean, they were my friends, uh, sure. about, oh, uh, for more than 10 years prior to me working for them. So, uh, uh, it, you know, it was great to go work for them and it's basically I started working for them, uh, with a handshake. That was about it. And so it's, it's been a great ever since I'm rambling. So tell us about, for, for those who are maybe unaware, um, cause you know, we have people from, from all over that, that, uh, that watch this and, you know, some of them are beer drinkers or wine drinkers for those who might not know about the Glen Cairn glass. Uh, oh. so for those who don't know, this is your Glen Cairn glass. Um, how did it? Or a fancier How, version, or the fan, or a more much fancier one. I got to get me one of those. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about the the Glen Cairn glass and how it came to be. Well, uh, good question, Michael. And considering this is now the twentieth anniversary mm -hmm. of the Glen Cairn glass, um, Ray Davidson, Raymond Davidson, uh, started Glen Cairn in the early nineteen eighties. Uh, making decanters and special bottlings, crystal bottlings for uh, Scotch, the Scotch comp, uh, uh, the Scotch industry, and uh, uh, about oh, say you know fifteen years later, it dawned on Ray that this is the mid nineties. He's looking around, and he knows that there's brandy snifters, the old balloon snifters, but there are no glasses specifically. Or whiskey. Mm -hmm. So he designs one. Uh, and then he puts it on a shelf because who's who's gonna go for this? This is a crazy <laughs> idea. People are just gonna buy a glass just for whiskey. Right. Who would do that? <laughs> so he puts it on the shelf. Uh, a couple of years later, his eldest son Paul uh, starts working for the company. He looks at this glass on the shelf and goes, Dad, what's this? Yeah, oh, it's an idea I had. I don't know. I don't <laughs> And uh, he's, oh, that's a great idea, Dad. Let's do it. So uh, they go and uh, uh, they recruit five different master blenders throughout Scotland, uh, <clears throat> all di from different companies. Uh, two of them are still out there, um, are still active, is uh, Richard Patterson, who a lot of folks know from the Dalmore, and Dave Stewart from Belvini. Um, and, uh, you know, they helped play around with it. They said, oh, it needs to be this wide and this tall and the, the opening should be that round. And, uh, you know, give us a bulb where the liquid can be seen and, and swirled and then dry the, the aroma up the chimney and up to the nose. And, um, and next thing you know, uh, it was finished in the year 2000. I uh, really got its big kind of coming out party at Whiskey Fest in 2001. Uh, and it's been the official glass of Whiskey Fest, uh, Whiskey Live. Oh, where else? Uh, just about any whiskey show. 
yeah. uh, with salt, you'll see the Glencairn glass. Uh, and nowadays, it's synonymous with whiskey. You'll exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's it's almost you know when you see these competitions or even I I don't I don't venture out well especially now but even before this this whole thing I didn't really venture out to see a lot of bars or a lot of different places that were using the Glen Cairn glass. It was primarily just a tumbler or a rocks glass. But you're starting to see this a little, little bit more, a lot more prevalent at, at whiskey bars, um, you know, specifically, uh, you know, like Niche in downtown Geneva. Um, you know, the guys at Barrel and Rye will will have these these uh, these samplers as well. So, you know, it's really cool to, to kind of see this this becoming a lot more popular. Um, Glen Cairn, like you said, Glen Cairn is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. Um, and I know there are some kind of special things that are coming out throughout the year. What kind of things will we be seeing out of Glen Cairn in 2020? You know, that's a good question. I'm not even sure. Uh, they're holding a bunch of uh, a bunch of their uh, cards close to their vest. Um, oh. You may oh. see. Did we lose you? No, well, I'm still here. Why? What's the matter? Can you not see me? Hello. Looks like a wee. Hello? I'm still here. Marty, you still there? I'm still here. Can you not see me? Hello? Hello? Can you not see me? Hello? Really? What's the matter? What's hey. the matter? All right, hold on. 